My name is Brent Housengay. For the last 13 years, I've been painting portraits, using portraits from two photo albums from the 1890s that I found in someone's trash. Uh, my name is Emily Rosenzweig, and um, I first saw one of Brent's cars maybe about four years ago. And as soon as I saw it, I was just completely in love. I mean, it really like just made my day. Um, and it made my day so much as, as an example that a couple years later, I was walking home from work and I saw one and I stopped and ripped out a piece of paper and wrote a note that said, seeing your car put such a huge smile on my face. Thanks for making my day. And I stuck it under the windshield wiper. Um, so I had really been dreaming of having uh, an art car like this for a long time. And when my husband and I got a second car, I finally, I got, had our old car and, and finally was able to do it. So I, I tracked Brent down through next door. I posted a picture of one of the cars I had seen and was like, do you know this artist? And within an hour, someone came back with Brent's name. And the rest is kind of history. I, I'm just so excited. Um, I, just now to feel like I'm the person that gets to bring a smile to people's faces the way that those cars brought a smile to me um, is just is just really powerful. And I guess I've always been a huge appreciator of public art and feel like the world needs more art just out in the open for people to engage with and for just to like enrich people's lives where they're at so they don't have to go to a museum but art can meet them where they're at and I feel like my car does that now so all I have to do at this point is get used to the stairs when I'm in the car you know you forget that the car is painted and I was driving down the street and I'm like why is that person staring at me uh, and I was like, oh, it, that now I now I remember why. So um, I just love how it came out. Uh, can't stop looking at it, and and just really grateful, and want to encourage other people to to like spread art to the world wherever they can. So the lady that's on the car, her name is Maud Adams, and she is not from the photos that I found 13 years ago. Um, but I came about her in sort of this. I don't know, weird, predestined series of events. <clears throat> so last, last summer I was commissioned to paint a piano in Des Moines, Iowa. So I was researching piano players from Iowa and found this dude, Roger Williams, who is the only person to have a number one hit as a solo pianist. This is like before the birth of rock and roll. And so I found him, and it was like perfect, right? Super famous guy from Iowa. Um, so I decided to paint him on the piano, and then while I was researching him, I found out that he had done the music for this movie called Somewhere in Time. And I read the synopsis of Somewhere in Time, and I was like, whoa, that's like pretty close to my story, a lot like my story, like finding these photos. And the story is about a guy who falls in love with a photograph and goes back in time to have this love affair with this woman. And so I'm like, okay, I have to watch this movie. And it was great. And it starred Christopher Reeve to top it off. I had just painted Christopher Reeve um, for the Superman Fest thing I was doing. And so I'm like, okay, I have to watch this movie. And so I watched the movie and it was great. And then I also watched the special features. And on the special features, the author who wrote the book was talking about how he fell in love with a picture of Maude Adams. And that's what inspired him to write the story. And when her picture came on the screen, I got like crazy goosebumps. And I was like, okay, I guess she's next.